Welcome to Vintage Video's latest What's New film. We have Cecil B. DeMille. Uh, the, the C stands for Claude. Uh, she's got her director's hat on and she is ordering me around like crazy. Anyway, first of all, I'd like to apologize for the delay in getting this latest one out. Uh, we've been busy around here and there's been some other issues. But here it is. And before we get going, I would like to address the nice gentleman who called in and asked for Randolph Scott, the Comanche station. And of course I said, oh, not available, not available, never has been available. Only to find out about a half an hour after he called that it is available, but it's in a set. And that's why I didn't realize it. So whoever you are, I tried to call you back, but you came in under a private number. We will have Randolph Scott's Comanche station in probably by the end of the month, and it comes in a Randolph Scott set. So, moving on. What do you think about this? The entire Perry Mason. 271 hour episodes, nine seasons, and a companion, the original Perry Mason films that were done in the 30s and the 40s. Moving on. The newly repackaged Have Gun Will Travel, much cheaper. Same thing with the Untouchables. New box set, complete Untouchables, the whole four seasons, our episodes. I know we may have advertised this before, but it's hard to get. We sold out, and now we've got one more back in stock. The Complete Hogan's Heroes. New packaging, cheaper. Annie Oakley. First time it's been available with the films being in good condition. They're right from the masters. Billy Jack. The Complete Four Film Collection. It's now been discontinued. Now this is an interesting set. This came to us in a collection, and you might think, well, what's so rare about Tarzan? TCM put out eight of the 12 Johnny Wise Miller films in two four-packs, which I'm sure those of you who collect Tarzan have. But we keep on getting asked, where are the other four? TCM has absolutely no plans to issue the other four. If they have, they certainly haven't said anything. But originally, that came out in the Johnny Wise Miller sets, which have now been discontinued. I now have one only of the second set, which includes the four missing Johnny Wise Miller Tarzans that are not available in the TCM four packs. I've only got one. For those of you who like Shakespeare, there's a brand new set with Patrick Stewart's Macbeth and the long discontinued Michael Woods in Search of Shakespeare, plus memorabilia. They have included in this copies of the original plays written by old Will himself. It's a great set. Next we have the complete television series of Andy Griffith with every episode pretty well with Don Knotts as Barney Fife. He's only allowed to carry one bullet in his shirt pocket, never in his gun. He's able to track down another set of The Saint. This one's getting hard to find. The Complete Bat Masterson. What would any household be without the complete Leave it to Beaver? All five seasons. Got some handy help from my trusty director. Man from Uncle, eight feature films, the complete Girl from Uncle, the complete television series, our episodes. Now, 
for singles. In a collection I was able to find Any Given Sunday, the great football movie with Al Pacino. Flesh and Fantasy from the Warner Archive. Finally, never been out before, even on VHS, Warner Brothers propaganda movie done in the 40s with John Carradine playing Reinhard Heydrich, Hitler's Madman. Keeping with the World War II theme, pretty dark documentary. When the camps were liberated, Eisenhower and Churchill told their respective cameramen in the army to photograph the most upfront films that they could of when they liberated the camps because they were going to use them in the Nuremberg trials. For the first time ever available to the public now is these very dark and disturbing films that were done by the British Army and the U.S. Army. Again, keeping with the World War II theme, Hitler's Children. Again, propaganda movie done in the 40s with Benita Grenville, who made her mark playing Nancy Drew as the daughter of a family who is caught up uh, with the rise of the Third Reich in Germany in the mid-30s. Excellent movie. And now for some spooky singles. The Earth Dies Screaming from England. The Night of the Big Heat. This is not a Glenn Ford movie. Everyone thinks it's a hammer horror, but it's not. It's done by the same people that did Island of Terror. The next one is one that I have personally been waiting for all of my adult life. I saw it on television in the late 50s, early 60s, I think. George Baker, The Moonraker. Not Moonraker. This is not James Bond. This is a wonderful English Civil War, roundheads against the Royalists. Swashbuckling never got any better. Finally, Tyrone Power, the king of Khyber Rifles. We usually don't carry new movies, but I'm very, very happy to have this one. This title was put on to us by one of my customers who had heard about it being available in England. It comes from the Toho Studios and it's called The Fighter Pilot. And it is without a doubt, you can certainly see where they spent the $80 million, the definitive telling of a kamikaze pilot story. And perhaps movies like this can best be done by the country in which the phenomena occurred. This is a Japanese movie with English subtitles, but it does not get any better than this. $80 million, over two hours long, the fighter pilot. For those of you who like Steve Reeves, Sandokan the Magnificent. The Great. Oh, my director just told me that it's called Sandakan the Great. I just really wanted to see whether she was still awake. Latest, Steve Reeves. Probably a movie, maybe, that Gary Cooper should not have made, but it's not a bad film. Marco Polo. I think I and a lot of other people feel that you can only take Gary Cooper like Steve McQueen and and some of the some of the more urban stars. You can only take them back so far. Uh, if you take them back a little too far back historically, it doesn't work. This one's maybe 50-50, but for all of you Gary Cooper completists, we finally have it in. Green Pastures. The very first all Afro-American made movie, highly sought after, an amazingly heartwarming film, Green Pastures. Originally, The Whip Hand was supposed to be a story. It was done 
in the mid to late 40s was supposed to be a story of Adolf Hitler escaping Germany, coming to America, and preparing germ warfare that was going to wipe out the United States. The production company felt that by the time this movie was ready to be filmed, Adolf Hitler was old news, so what did they make it? The dreaded commies are now working undercover in a small New England town. Will the United States escape this terror? Stars Raymond Burr, pre-Perry Mason days. Fabulous new documentary on John Ford, the great, perhaps did mostly westerns, but the great American director, John Ford, new documentary. A fabulous new documentary on Steve McQueen. It's not only about the making of his film Le Mans, but it's also about Steve. And uh, it's brand new. It's fabulous. Finally, a good cover on perhaps the scariest of all British horror movies, Dead of Night. It's worth it just for the cover. Can you stand it? One that we continually got asked for, and finally the Warner Archive people put it out, The Merry Widow with Lana Turner. Believe me, this is not just all song and dance, because it's got Lana in it. Jennifer Jones, Joseph Cotton, Love Letters. Again, not a romance. There's some um, hanky-panky going on here and some laws are being broken. I shall say no more. There's Always Tomorrow, Fred McMurray. Again, it sounds like a kind of a weepy love movie. It's not. It will keep you on the edge of your seat. Again, one that we had been asked for quite a bit, was never available, a Lucille Ball movie, amongst a lot of other stars, story of a plane crash, the survivors, five came back, where did the plane crash, what did they have to put up with, did they become soup? A wonderful new release, again, of the English Civil War. It's a Hammer movie called The Crimson Blade with Oliver Reed. And finally for the singles, again, finally released, Wilbur Wilkie Collins' great mystery, The Woman in White. Charles Dickens said that Collins' book, The Moonstone and The Woman in White, were perhaps the definitive detective novels ever written, and no one's been able to disprove him wrong. And I have saved the best for last from a collection. We have got the Lone Ranger complete television series, 221 episodes, that was out two, three, maybe four years ago. It was a limited number collection, and it it vanished almost overnight. This is the complete Lone Ranger television series plus the two feature films. Thanks folks, we'll see you next time. Hasta la vista!